ຈະກ່ອນຈະບໍ່ໄດ້ຫາ <coughs> ពីធុនធាននឹងត្រូវចាត់ទុកជាសាធារណៈពីទីនេះយើងប្រកាសថាជាការពិភាក្សាជាសំងាត់ប៉ុន្តែបើយើងចង់បើកជាសាធារណ
นเทียนให้ตำนานนี้คือตำนานทนเทียนสมแมบกอมโตรดอลกรมมิตรวิกาปีกระไดลูกเคือสมพรดำไปทั่วยังน้าขนมบ่มน้องเราริดองมาชูบายบ่มปิ้งเหมือนแทมหรือก็เมกาแก่ตำรวจอย่างเดียวมันได้ดำไปอากรกรมนี้เมียนตะมัดตะพิบอาจจะทั่วกาขนมปีลมลงเป็นนิตย์กอดทั่วเตียงปีบ้านมันได้ทักกันอาจเลยเลยลกขนมกาโจรุ่มขนมกาจำนากาสามนากาปีตะเมียบจงชนะนี้ได้ตามกาปฏิชัยตะบันกรุงตุกให้หนึ่งกอดอาจจะดำนากาเรียบจอมนึ่งบดังสารนึ่งสารนาบกอดปชังหนึ่งสาตุกปชังหนึ่งสาครอมตลาคาตลาดบง bát trong bát xong ở quân ai đồng thiên đồng ca bắt chạy pi bảy hà đòi lại ní trong trong bát du khinh ta lưu bẹp bò lưu bảy hà thôn thiên rùm đôi khi mình mình miên trồng não tại bãi té anh đi xin tại đó cả prapra nâng vị thi prapra nâng bánh trái cướp rong nơi thôn thiên sầm lấp cầm cà phê đây bò lục kêu sầm phòn tại bò lưu bảy hà đi trong bát xong bảy hà lục tút để cất cho là làm ăn chun ไอ้ดำหนึ่งอังสเพียยังต่างมูลบาทสมอคุณสมจุลีสูลุกเชคครอมหันสัพเพยาพิกีตุงอ๊สมอคุณได้บานชิงการยาไลรัตบาลชูลรุมดัมเบย์ออยบานอาบุมพลื้นที่ปัญหาในยี่ที่ปัญหาตัวเต๋อเขาเชื่อมในยี่ปัญหาเจ้าเล็กติดตามลำดับอันดับอีกเพียงตั้งหลอมเตอการประชุมริชามสาวนาการไทยทนูบิชนามเตอได้ปัญหาทนทิ้นได้กรมเมตุกาเปิดใจเดินแล้วในยี่ในวิชมลอยเป็นนู้นเมียนการโปรดบารมีสิกาการบันทอยทนทิ้นนึกนอริยาเปิลได้เมียนสาวกรมตระบันอภิพิษานสมรัยกันอยู่เข้มบานบัญชีถ้าให้เรานี่ก็เข้มบัญชีถ้าทนทิ้นเติร์บานเพื่ออวยเมียนกุกร้อนสำหรับเมตุวิกาเปียกระดิ่งอ๊อกนองเรียบเปรียบแทนนู้รหัสดอกแขกแกงยาชินามปีปอนดับบุญนี่มันมันเมียนไว้แขกแปรที่นักดัลมันตอบเมา In that same time period, there has been no specific, tangible request from any of the teams to increase the resources. So what was in the budget? 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 สำนักสมองการลุยเตะจะแสดงกระทำยังสมัยอภิชาตราตราลุยกะเดลออยบาตออยผู้กอดตัวเนชั่นเนียนบกลึกเฮ็ดยังก็บานตั้งแต่สายปีปัญหาในหายตัวท่าหายก็อาจหนึ่งลอยตอบตัวหนึ่งสมัติเพียบมีจำนวนปัจจัยใหม่หานุ่มแต่ต้องการคนเทียนเตะปัญหาบุ้ยขาดสามมีสำนักสมบังการคนเทียนสำหรับเมธวีกาปีกระไดลูกคิดก่อนเทียนจำหลายเตะรูดอกไข่ตุลารูดอกไข่นี่เมียนสำนักตัวองค์กรมุ่งเรื่องสารดุมบุ้ยปัจจัยมันสมบังการทนเทียนระบบเมธวีกาปีกระไดเตะสำนักนั้นสมบังการทนเทียนเอาข้าองค์เพียบบอกปลายตัวเองมันต่อเมื่อยืนมันติดตัวอนุสารณะปีองค์มุ่งเรื่องสารดุมบุ้ยดัมเบิลเทนีธาทนเทียนแชมบัตเตอร์บันพดอลเตอร์อาร์ทิยูให้ยิงบานคือการเงินหรือปัญหาในขนมเปรย์ได้ยิงตัวบานแต่ต้องต้องนึกค่าบันชัยทนเทียนบอกเลิกชิบิเซตเตอร์หนึ่งตัวหนึ่งการเงินสื่อสารคลำให้ยิงบานชีวิตการ
ពីព្រោះគ្នានៃបុគ្គលិកប៉ុន្តែទោះយ៉ាងណាក្តីយើងបានធ្វើការលើកិច្ចការនេះហើយអាចទៅយូបានបង្កើនសម្រាប់ភ
let's say, July 2013, which was the end of evidential proceedings, requested further resources from the administration. As for my office, no. Again, that that ITU Thank you. This is all I need to know about the resources before I go to the next subject. Are there any further questions to that? I think that the Nhưng đơn thờ Pà Nhà Hà vẫn thể hành thật thổ nơi dân bàn về phía xã Hà ấy. Cô bằng tay chìa muốn nhầm chọn đơn thờ tác hàng rộng tập báo ảnh bình chế ảnh bàn cho bà Tết Hà miên một chuộc bài ở vầy khắp đẹp bọn nặng bốc cả lực. Đại cổ mê tê vi này mùi nguồn nhìn ngươi miên được chùm nguồn mê tê vi chùm nguồn nạ chùm báp. Nâng chìa dạ thả hát chùm nguồn nạ bọc prai nơi khăn ông cổ mê tê vi cả cả bí cả đây này mùi này mùi nô. Uh, thank you. Uh, I will Look, uh, ask the so head of DSS to answer the breakdown of the resources given to each team because it falls under the autonomy of DSS. And then I think uh, for the translation part, what is not covered by DSS, I will ask the ITU to complement the answer. Um, Good morning, Your Honours. Uh, good morning, prosecutors. Good morning, civil party lawyers. Um, regarding the resources given to the, the defence teams and specifically the breakdown, I'd like to inform the chamber as follows. Each defence team uh, has one Cambodian co-lawyer and one international co-lawyer. There's allocation for the payment of one on each team. Um, where there are multiple co-lawyers, for example, the QSM Pan team that has two international co-lawyers, the salary allocated for one co-lawyer is split up between the two or more. So Ms. Kisi and Mr. Berg can each receive half of the salary. Each team is also entitled to a case manager, and that is on a separate budget line. Now, in addition to the co-lawyers and case manager, there is one budget line for about $210,000 per year for the recruitment of other support staff. That is the budget line under which the legal consultants, um, experts, um, and uh, evidence analysts are um, recruited. That's the budget from which they pay. So uh, the QSM Pan team and the Nunchia team each has $210,000 for, for that. And as the deputy director uh, just stated during the trial management meeting in December of 2013, the teams were concerned that part of that budget might be reduced because of the reduced level of activity. His answer then, as now, was that no, the budget remained the same in 2014 as it was in 2013. Um, now, within this budget, there are, of course, um, uh, differences from time to time. Some, some support staff leave the court for various reasons, and others have to be recruited, so adjustments have to be made. Within the budget itself, the 210,000 budget, there are different levels of consultants. Um, the highest level, level four, the consultants with the most experience are paid higher than those at the lowest level, level one. So it's, uh, uh, really up to the individual defense team to, to determine how they will allocate those $210,000 in the course of the year. Um, they may recruit, for example, one senior person and multiple junior persons so that the amount of money is evenly spread out. I, I hope that answers your question, but I'm ready to provide further detail if, if requested. In terms of translation, uh, the teams don't have their own translators. No translators are allocated or assigned to each defense team. 
because ITU works as a pool, and as word comes in, it is allocated by language combination to the available staff, and if there's not enough staff in the house, it is outsourced either to translation agencies or to freelance interpreters and translators. Pour le fonctionnement de, 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 de chaque équipe, je pense il y a besoin éventuellement de, de, de traduction en, en interne, de traduction de, de pouvoir rapidement prendre de d'un document il n'y a pas de services particuliers qui sont offerts, qui sont offerts aux équipes. Euh, en ce qui concerne l'équipe, la pratique la suivante. L'équipe nous envoie un document à traduire, les extraits dont elle a besoin. ក៏ចង់បានចំណុចមួយណាដែលចង់បានលឿននោះត្រាស់ឌីអង់ព្រីអូរីតីហើយជាពេលនោះយើងបកប្រែសម្រងជាអតិភាពឬក៏គាត
ຈັ່ງຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າຖ
uh, interpreter or translator for this in-team communication. Could, could you clarify this? Thank you. Yes, uh, you're right. Um, at the time, it was a different team. <coughs> it was a different team, uh, which had a, a, a different type of issue uh, being um, addressed. But it, it was a language issue, and then the team was offered to recruit its own language resource. Uh, and I assume, if need be, the head of DSS will elaborate on the experience. From my office to DSS, that offer stands to all teams, so we don't differentiate within the teams or within the issues. So the offer stands that beyond the allocation of the legal team, we stand ready to support each team with ad hoc resources on language issues, but I have not received such requests. Perhaps, Mr. Enderly, since you have been referred to... Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, yes, indeed. Earlier this year, we had um, the opportunity to offer to one of the other defense teams in another case. Um, the option of integrating a translator within the team to assist uh, with language issues uh, because they had similar problems about the timeliness of uh, translations coming from ITU. That experience did not turn out to be so good um, for a variety of reasons. Um, one of the reasons, I believe, was that um, the defense team required the translator to produce a lot more than translators normally produce um, by the terms of the contract, say with ITU or in the UN practice in general. Another difficulty was that um, the translator integrated in the team was required to work in multiple languages. Typically, a translator works from one language, from one source language to a target language. But because of the nature of the work of the team, they required the person to do more in terms of quantity, but also in terms of quality. Um, and they were getting this person to do other things like verifying footnotes, which maybe reference assistants would typically do in a translation firm or in the ITU. So it was, very, it was too complicated, and that experience lasted, I think, barely one week, and the person resigned. Um, so we've not repeated it, but the option is still available, yes, Your has the Kursampang team or the Nunchia team ever asked for this resource? Uh, not specifically, Your Honor. No. Because of that experience with another team, we have not really offered it to them. Thank you. เอ่อมีบํานองจองมีการสํารวจสู่ตั้งสํานวนสู่บัญชีบันเทมอัมพีปัญหาทุนเทียนได้จะพวกกรมมิตรวิการปิกระไดเอ่อ <coughs> Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. J'ai une autre question qui ne concerne pas directement les ressources, mais qui concerne une façon plus générale les facilités offertes aux équipes de défense pour rencontrer leurs ดำเนินไปติดจูบเอ่อโกนกระไดตวลเกิดเอ่อเจียบเซ็กคือโลกนวลเจียนนั่งโลกคือสัมพันธ์ได้ในขนมตีคงแคลนมีสิทธิ์
qui tiendrait au fait que euh, les conditions offertes ne seraient pas suffisantes pour permettre de défendre les défenses. Maybe just for the record, your honors, uh, I confirmed that also my office is not aware of any issue on, uh, in that regard, and I may also ask the head of DSS to compliment. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you very much, and thank you for your time. Thank you very much, and thank you for your time. Thank you very much. I don't believe there are any issues that have not that have been brought to our attention. I should just maybe inform the chamber that the, the practice that we have in DSS is that each time um, there is a change in the composition of the defense teams, uh, DSS sends a letter to the head of the detention facility uh, indicating all the team members. For example, if there's a new consultant, even if there's a new intern on each defense team, we notify the detention facilities, uh, facility management and list the people who are authorized to visit the accused. So, um, there is no, there has not been any problem. Thank you, Your Honor. Maybe I should answer that one. Uh, yes, it is possible to get access to the client while hospitalized, but a certain procedure has to be followed. Uh, without going into detail, uh, obviously the medical condition of the client overrides uh, whatever needs of defense. So at the end of the day, it's a doctor's call. The procedure is simplified that they have to inform in advance through the staff of the detention center, which then will inform the hospital, and then they will be given a window where they get access. Uh, there has been occasions where doctors have said no, not now, that we cannot override. Clarify how lawyers, I'm only interested in the defense lawyers at the moment, are paid at this court. What I mean, I'll be talking monthly salaries, I'll be talking paid per filing or per day sitting in court, I'll be talking a combination of those two. I'm not interested in numbers, but in the system. Thank you. As this falls within the autonomy of DSS, I will invite the head of DSS to answer. Um, thank you, Your Honor. Um, let me start by just explaining for the support staff. Um, the case manager and the legal consultants, um, evidence analysts and other um, experts working on the defense teams are paid a flat, a fixed monthly salary. Um, they receive that we certify at the end of the month, or the lawyers certify to us that the work assigned to them has been performed satisfactorily, and in return the DSS certifies to the um, human resources section and the finance sections to pay the support staff members a flat salary, a fixed salary, different levels for different um, amounts of experience. Regarding the call lawyers, however, um, the salary is on an hourly basis. 
the co-lawyers um, at this court date are authorized to work for up to 150 hours per month and they're remunerated on an hourly basis. Um, sometimes they may work a little less, sometimes they work a little more, but the maximum that they paid each month can be only for up to 150 hours. For each uh, co-lawyer, uh, I gave you earlier the example of the two international co-lawyers for um, for the last few months, for example, each of them has been paid for only a maximum of 75 hours of work per month. Which amounts to the maximum? Yeah, if you combine both, then it's 150 to the maximum. And um, so there is no additional payment for filings or so? Uh, no, Your Honor, it's not uh, per piece that we pay them. Um, it's for the overall work that they're doing in the month. First, yes. Second question, um, how are case 021 uh, and 022 treated for the purpose of paying the lawyers? Are they treated as one case or are they treated as two cases? Um, for administrative purposes, Your Honor, we've, we treat them as one case because the, each lawyer is assigned to an accused or a suspect, not for a trial or a particular procedure. They are assigned to represent an individual and so they are paid for representing that individual throughout. Um, I'll move because it's easier to my last subject. As I said, it deals with um, well, recruiting additional counsel or replacement of counsel. Now I understand. Oh, no, let me first, sorry, before I start this, is this what you have just told us pertains to international lawyers. Is the payment system the same for national lawyers? Yes, Your Honor, it's the same system, except that perhaps the rates where you said you're not interested in the figures, the, the yeah. pair is different, but the system is exactly the same. Thank you. So getting back to additional counsel or replacements, I understand you are having a list of international counsel who are potentially available for recruitment here. Is this correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor, uh, GSS is required by the rules to maintain lists of counsel, both national and international. Yes. As far as you can tell, how long would it take to get, perhaps the answer is different for international and national counsel, but either of them on board, if you can answer that? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I can. As a matter of fact, I do have a very recent example from earlier this year. Um, in another case, um, GSS was required to recruit an international co-lawyer for, for a suspect, and it took us approximately four months uh, from the time the order was made to the time that the person was officially assigned, four months. Can you give an example for a national lawyer, for recruitment of a national lawyer? Um, in the same matter, it took us a little less than half of that amount of time, so maybe about six weeks, no, not quite two months, to get a national lawyer. Um, but it could have taken less if we had found somebody who was willing or able, available. Um, the last question, this context is, well, probably to the administration. Um, could the budget accommodate two sets of lawyers? Okay, Your Honor. Currently, we, uh, we do not envisage that scenario of a double setting. But as referred to, we were ordered to do so in another case. And we did so. So again, if the tranche is so direct, we will implement that decision. Thank you. That's all I have for the time being. Some Monsieur Delay, vous nous avez Luke dit Delay, que Luke les avocats uh, étaient affectés à TV, un accusé et à un dossier. Est-ce que vous avez calculé le budget 
ថាវិការគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគឺគ